This is the Pittsburgh hydraulic wire crimping tool that's sold at Harbor Freight. Let's open it up and take a look at it. I've used this several times and so far I've had pretty good luck with it. You get the actual hydraulic tool. It works kind of like a ball jack. You got a piston that pumps up hydraulic pressure and it pushes that piston up. Has a knob to release the pressure off the piston. And then it comes with these different size dies that fits into the crimping tool. It has different sizes for the different gauge wires. You got two all. The dies that come with it go as big as zero aug to as small as 14 aug. I was having to do some uh, wiring crimping on two aug, uh, two alt aug gauge wire, which is bigger than zero aug. And since the biggest size it accommodated for was for uh, zero aug, it had these uh, 14 aug. I took one of them. And I ground it down and made it bigger. That way I could use that with the zero aug. And it will uh, leave enough room in there to be able to crimp that two aug. It's not ideal, but it worked. And I had no problems uh, crimping that, that two aug uh, crimp. You just want to be careful not to grind off too much. But that's one little uh, trick I did to be able to use it for bigger size wire than zero aug. These dies are magnetic. I'm not quite sure if it's the die itself or the tool itself. I think it's the die itself, but they're magnetic. They have a little pin that just slips into a hole in there and it's magnetized so it holds it in place. It's not going to fall out. Same thing with the lower one. It's got some magne magnetization to it. So it's not going to fall out. One issue I have incurred with this tool is this thing will screw apart. It comes with some extra O-rings and seals that you can repl uh, replace them with. Sometimes when I'm using it, they'll kind of loosen up. So before I start using it, I just make sure I got it good and tight. You can see that too can come loose. So that's just a couple things to keep an eye out on when you're using it. Just making sure it's tight and not coming apart when you go to use it. And you can see it takes a little while for it to pump up. But that also makes it easier to make your crimp. And it'll, close, it'll close the two dies together. Release the valve and it opens back up. It's a Harbor Freight tool, so there's going to be some expectations that the finish is not going to be the best in the world. You can see in the metal work and the welding that it's got some pitting and stuff in it. But that doesn't hurt the functionality of the tool. For the price, it works great. I also like that it comes in this case. It's not the best quality case, but it does work and it latches. That keeps all the dies and the tool together. Pretty simple to open too. I got this cable right here. I need to put some lugs on the end of it. The way I do it, I go ahead and get my lug into the tool and get it positioned to where I want the crimp. And then I just put just enough pressure on it just to hold it in place. Then I can, I can take my cable slide it in good also i have before crimped this into a vise so it will hold it if i needed to hold on to like i got a uh, butt connection i need to crimp and i need to hold two uh, two cables into it i just lock this down in a vise to hold it the, uh, where i can just pump it one head and i got a little more leverage on what i need to hold still but for this application, I'm just putting that battery cable end in it. I'll set down on the workbench like this and just start pumping it until it gets tight and I can't pump it anymore. 
once it starts getting tight I get some leverage on it until I can't push on it anymore you can see it's crimped down almost all the way then just release it pull it out and there's a look at the crimp this is four gauge wire I was using the four gauge dies in the tool and that's a good solid crimp that's not going to come off a couple times I have ran into the issue where after I make my crimp the connector wants to stay kind of stuck into these dies and I've had to, to take a uh, flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry it out I've had it happen a couple times but other than that I ain't had no other issues with this tool now I'm going to go ahead and finish up making this cable So that's just a little look of this Pittsburgh hydraulic wire crimping tool sold at Harbor Freight. Like I said, it's able to do everything I need it to do with making this one modification. I was willing to sacrifice a 14 gauge die because if I'm crimping something that's 14 gauge, I probably just use hand crimpers like the, the plier type crimpers for something like that. But yeah. It's very versatile, works pretty good. Another thing that I, um, I'll probably change about it, I would make instead of the handle being like this where you have to hold the tool itself in one hand and the uh, pump handle in the other, it makes it kind of awkward to hold your wires together when you're trying to put them together. It'd be nice if it was some sort of like a pistol grip that you could just hold in one hand that way you can hold a tool and pump it and hold the wire into whatever terminal you're trying to crimp and you just pump it with, and hold it with one hand hold your work with the other but I have crimped it or uh, clamped it in my vise and used it that way so that just gives you my thoughts on it I hope you found this video helpful if you liked it give it a thumbs up comment down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching